Nation, O Canada. Honored guests, curlers, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken McRae and as your master of ceremonies, I welcome you to the Labatt Tankard Alberta Men's Curling Championship. We look forward to six days of great curling, fun and festivities. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce our dignitaries. Honorable Dr. Steve West, Minister of Recreation and Parks. Mr. Marvin Molson, representing the County of Leduc. His Worship, Morris Fitzpatrick, Mayor of Leduc. Mr. Bob Walker, Labatt's Alberta Brewery. Mr. Darwin Davidick, President, Northern Alberta Curling Association and Championship Chairman. Mr. Lloyd Robinson, President, Southern Alberta Curling Association, and Mrs. Shirley Douglas, President, Leduc Curling Club. We now ask Honorable Dr. Steve West to bring welcome from the province. Dr. West. Thank you very much. Uh, a good evening to the dignitaries, to all of you that are gathered here, and to our very special uh, guests here tonight, the uh, athletes that are going to pr provide some very good entertainment to Albertans in the next few days. On behalf of the Honorable Don Sparrow, the Minister of Tourism, and the Government of Alberta, I'd like to bring you greetings here and wish each and every athlete the best in the next five days. I would also like to thank Labatt's for bringing forth the, uh, the heritage of Alberta, this fine tradition of curling that we've enjoyed so much over the last few years, and we have been well represented uh, following this sort of an event as we go on into the briar in Canada. I would also like to personally uh, uh, wish uh, the Kevin Martin rink the best in Albertville. Uh, I have a little bias. Uh, I, Kevin uh, and his family originate from my constituency of Vermilion Viking. Good luck to you all. Thank you, Dr. Steve. Labats are a big part of curling, and at this time we'd call in Bob Walker to bring greetings from our sponsor. Bob? Thank you, Ken. On behalf of Labats, I'd like to welcome everyone to the 1992 Labatt Tankard and congratulate each of the uh, teams that is here for reaching this stage in the playdowns. It's been no easy task to get this far. I'd also uh, like to uh, thank our chairman and his host committee, uh, Mr. Darwin Davidock, and uh, all the volunteers have put in a lot of effort in getting the event to this stage, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy everything that they have planned for this week. Now, uh, we can hopefully proceed with the show very quickly Good luck to all the curlers. 
Uh, I know they're going to put on a good show for us all week. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bob. At this time, I'd like to call on the always entertaining and sometimes controversial Darwin Davidek, President of the Northern Alberta Curling Association and Championship Chairman. Darwin? Thank you, Ken. <coughs> Greetings to all, <coughs> dignitaries, curlers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The 1992 Labatt Tankard is jointly organized by the Leak Curling Club and the Northern Alberta Curling Association. Shirley Douglas, president of the Leduc Curling Club, myself and our hundreds of volunteers extend a hearty welcome to everyone to this Alberta Men's Curling Championship. This playdown is destined to be a milestone in Alberta curling. First, the playdown format has been changed from the very popular modified triple knockout to the very successful round robin with playoff format that is used in the Labatt Briar. Secondly, every game in this championship will be telecast live by our friends from Shaw Cable. This combination is intended to create a briar type of atmosphere, which not only will better prepare the Alberta champion for the briar, but will also promote the sport of curling at a higher level. The conditions here in Leduc are perfect for selecting the best of the best in Alberta's men's curling. We are confident that from this great array of curling talent, will emerge a championship team that will defend the Briar Championship in Regina in a fashion us Albertans have become accustomed to, the best in the country. Again, we welcome everyone to Leduc and remind that our volunteers are on the ready should any curler or fan require assistance. If you need help, ask someone wearing this volunteer sweater. Before closing, I would like to make a special request. This curling season is extra special because curling is a demonstration sport in the 1992 Olympics in Albertville, France. Canada's representative is the same Kevin Martin team that is playing this week in Leduc. They leave for the Olympics in a couple weeks. Can we all give them a hearty cheer and wishing them good luck and good curling in the Olympics? <laughs> Thank you and good curling to all. Thanks, Darwin. And as Darwin so aptly put it, we're in the Duke this week to declare a provincial champion to defend our Briar Championship at the Labatt Briar in Regina. It is my pleasure to introduce at this time the teams that have won the right to compete in this playdown. Representing the Peace Curling Association and from Grand Prairie, Michael Babrick, Kurt Balderston, Ralph Brust, and Daniel Lemieux. Also representing the Peace Curling Association and from Grand Prairie also, Stacy Comber, Dennis Graber, Michael Student, and Randy Obna-Aqua. <laughs> representing Southern Alberta Curling Association and from Calgary, Alberta, Brian Costain, Bob Parrish, Jeff Parrish, and Peter Rogers. Also representing the Southern Alberta Curling Association and from Calgary, Alberta, Frank Morissette, Dan Lan, Gary Jensen, and Marlon Rosichuk. <laughs> and the third team from SACA, from Lethbridge, Alberta, Doran Johnson, Corey Perrin, Rob Armitage, and Terry Hamilton. Representing the Northern Alberta Curling Association from Edmonton and the reigning Canadian champions, Kevin Martin, Kevin Park, Dan Petrick, and Don Bartlett. <laughs> also representing the Northern Alberta Curling Association from Leduc, Alberta, David Stewart, Kelly G G Kajuski, Terry Sock, and Richie Hipkin. And the third team from Northern Alberta, from Edmonton, Don Walchuk, Gord Trenchy, Trevor McGregor, 
and Marcel Rock. We have three celebrities with us today who have served curling as competitors and as excellent promoters of the sport over the years. Marv Schmidt and Gil Svensson were part of a well-known local team that played the hitting game better than anyone of their day. If they got up to, the game was over. West Montgomery sweeping with the corn broom has probably done more than anything else to promote the brush. Wes will deliver the rock, Gil will be in his familiar position holding the broom, and Marv once again will do all the work. Gentlemen. Sheet seven, Bob tells us. Wes Montgomery, the honorary president of the NACA, is in the hack. Beautiful form, you can see Curl Canada. Coming into the house. Another perfect shot by Mr. Montgomery. <laughs> right to the button. Thank you, gentlemen, and we hope the competitors are that sharp during the week. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all the competitors good curling, and I now declare the playdowns officially opened. lead the teams and the competitors the official bagpiper is leading the competitors and the like off the ice very good job by ken mccree the master of ceremonies uh, he's uh, was the president of the avenue curling club and he's now the second vice president uh, of the NACA and uh, uh, an avid curler himself and those bagpipes the sound of that you know you like i've both been at canadian championships hector and there's nothing quite that can get you more pumped for a game well, even when you're not playing in it anymore, uh, it still gets you pretty excited. It's uh, not many things gets me excited, but... Uh, That's what Helen said. <laughs> Way to go, Jack. <laughs> you set that one up. I couldn't miss that but, one. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great feeling, and to a curler, it seems to get the, the blood moving a little faster than normal, and uh, there should be some great curling on here. I haven't seen the ice uh, working. We're talking to Kevin uh, at the practice. Uh, he said it was very uh, nice ice, good ice to come around on, and very good hitting ice. And uh, I guess getting back to the official throwing of the first rock there, uh, Wes Montgomery drawing right to the button. Oh, I will never hear the end of that. He curls every Wednesday at, uh, at the club that I manage, and uh, I'm going to try not to be there the next time because he'll be bragging about that. But, uh, you know, I must have thrown 40 opening rocks in my life, and, and the first 39, I never got anywhere close to the house. But I, I opened the briar in uh, Kitchener in 19... Uh, 86, and uh, by pure luck, I uh, put it on uh, in the house anyway, and I felt good about that. But uh, It was good ice, it was good conditions, and uh, a lot of fan support, and that's what uh, the game needs, and uh, things went well for us. Well, a couple of good breaks, that's the way it goes. And you went five wins, no losses out there. Yeah, that's uh, the way. It, yeah, that's the way, right, right way to do it, though. Uh, once you get into B and C, everybody wants to beat you pretty bad, so it's best if you get an A. Kevin, coming into this event, and all year, many cash fields, an uh, interesting comment that you had made in, in the newspaper about two weeks ago, that it's good to get into some pressure curling. Obviously, the uh, emphasis are a little bit more on, on this and the cash fields, and the cash fields were for some big money. Uh, yeah, they actually, yeah, they are getting better and better all the time. Uh, it went well this year in the cash field circuit, but now the, this is uh, a lot more important, obviously. And uh, starting on the 17th in Elberville, that's obviously got to be the most important. Speaking of Albertsville, when you come to an event like this all year in the hype of the Olympics, does it take away having to think about the Olympics to an event like this? Well, it's tough not to think about the Olympics, and that's what we're having to deal with, um, is coming out here and thinking 
for Intels, you know, and uh, I think we're ready. I think we're keyed up and, uh, and you know, feeling right about it. We'll see, I guess. You've had a chance to throw some practice rocks on the ice. What do you think of the ice conditions? Uh, the ice and the building and the whole setup is about as good as you're ever going to find anywhere. I would think with the field that we have here, this will be the best provincials has been in a long time. Speaking of field and that, there is certainly a good field. The change in format. Last year, you were in a modified triple knockout where the team had to lose three games to be out. This year, it's a round robin with semifinal, final. Your thoughts on that, Kevin? Well, it depends which way you look at it. From the curler point of view, obviously, the triple knockout is a lot better. Um, if you are supposedly the best team, somebody's got to beat you three times. And it's a lot different than going undefeated, going into the final, and somebody has to beat you once. So it, obviously for the curler, you know, the triple knockout's way better. Uh, the only reason that there could possibly be to play a round-robin format like we're doing is for the final game. In the triple knockout, if you haven't lost any going in the last game, it may or, not, may or may not be the last game. Whereas in the round-robin, it is the final. And for that reason, I guess it's better for television, but for the curler, it's not. Well, thank you very much, Kevin. And Best of luck the rest of the way. I'm going to go back upstairs to Jackie, and then we're going to come back down right away to with Doran Johnson, who is standing by. Thank you very, very much, Jerry. Um, Kevin Martin, always a, a, a good speaker, and I think he, he hit it on the nose. He doesn't seem like he's overly confident. They're just playing it by ear by the sounds of it. Well, you know, uh, I was talking to him the other day about the Olympics, and, and to me, mind you, I might feel different if I was going. I still think I'd rather go to a briar than be to a demonstration sport, uh, you know, but he's not thinking that way. He wants to do good in both, of course. And, uh, you know, he's only 25 years old. We keep thinking, you know, he talks like a guy that's been around for uh, many years, and although he has curl for 17 years and he's only 25, obviously he started young, and he does handle himself very well talking. And, uh, you know, uh, he worked at the club I managed last year, and he never changed, you know, like sometimes a person will win a a briar or win big spiels and they get a little bit uh, different and Kevin has been down to earth type of guy and uh, people just love him. Yeah, that's and, and it's it's going to be very interesting going in to see how I think if they start to get on a roll then that's going to be it's going to be tougher if they if they do start to get on a roll mm -hmm, because they I'm are sure. a tough team to stop when they start playing well. Right now let's go back down to ice level. Jerry Wilson has Kevin's opposition skiff. Jerry, take it away. Well, thank you, Jackie, and standing with me is Darwin Johnson, a very colorful curler. And Darwin, uh, what are your thoughts on tonight's game going against the Canadian champion? Well, I heard curling is going to be a fun game this year. First team to seven wins. And your thoughts, your thoughts on the format? Uh, you've been involved. You lost two uh, provincial finals to Pat Ryan. It was a modified triple knockout, and now the round robin. What, what's your thoughts on that? I like the round robin. I think it gives all the teams that are here seven games. And, uh, you know, in any sport today, you've got to prove yourself when the playoffs come. So I don't, I don't mind it at all. And I think the one time that we played in Airdrie, we played Ryan a million times, and that wasn't that much fun. They're not that joyful of guys. <laughs> Especially when you lose the final game. You had a good year, obviously. Uh, won a lot on the cash circuit. Uh, how did the playdowns go in Saka, and who did you play along the road? Well, we cruised along pretty good to the A final, and then a guy named Brian Costain came out and just threw darts against us. He made everything and, and snuck past us. We had a temporary lull in B. Pendergast sent us uh, packing on our way to C, and then we uh, kind of righted the ship a little bit. We beat Breckenridge and Ammon uh, and Festchuk to uh, get out here, and that was lots. It was nine games, so it was enough to get us warmed up for this weekend. Your thoughts on the ice here, Doran? You've had a chance to throw some practice rocks. Uh, how do you see the conditions here in Leduc? Uh, fabulous. Um, I've been very fortunate. We played in 88 at the Otwell Club, and they had great ice. Uh, 89 in Airdrie, they had great ice. And, and this ice at Leduc is just perfect for, I think, like I say, you'll see a lot of good shots and a lot of scoring. Twice runner-up. Your thoughts uh, on this event, and how bad does Doran Johnson want it? Well, if you've been in the provincials many times as I have, you don't know whether you're good because you get there that many times or you're bad because you can't win. So I guess we'll see. Well, best of luck all the way, Doran. We'll be following you. Thank you very much. And now back upstairs to Jackie and Hector, and we're going to be in the curling action right away. We're going to go to a sponsor break right now, and stay tuned for the opening draw between Doran Johnson and Kevin Martin. The Northern Alberta Curling Association is proud to host the 1992 Alberta Labatt Tankard. The NACA provides the following services to the curlers in Northern Alberta. Management of playdowns, promotion of curling, education in the sport, administration functions. 
NACA, a curling tradition since 1918. Pepsi is a proud sponsor of the Alberta Tankard, and 1992 marks the 35th year of Pepsi's support for curling in Canada, including the Pepsi Juniors from provincial and territorial playdowns, right up to the national championships being held this year in Vernon, BC. This is the longest running corporate sponsorship in any amateur sport in Canada. In 1992, Pepsi is also a proud sponsor of Team Canada, who will compete in Albertville, France. Pepsi, gotta have it. Good evening.